Prove that the sum of distances from any point inside an equilateral triangle to its sides is equal to the altitude of this triangle. Now let us take an equilateral triangle ABC of side x units. Let us say P is a point inside the triangle. Now we have to prove that the sum of distances from P to AB, BC, AC is equal to altitude of the equilateral triangle. Now what is the altitude of equilateral triangle that we know? If the side is x then the altitude is given by root 3 by 2 into x. So we have to prove that the sum of distances from any point inside an equilateral triangle to its sides is equal to root 3 by 2 into x. Now to solve this problem what we need to prove sum of distances from P to AB. We know that any distance always the distance between a point and a line is a perpendicular distance. So from P let us drop a perpendicular to AB similarly to BC and also to AC. Now we have let us say that these perpendiculars are H1, H2 and H3. We have to prove that H1 plus H2 plus H3 equals to root 3 by 2 into x. This is what we need to prove. Now we know that area of an equilateral triangle easily we can find out because we have the formula root 3 by 4 into x square. Now since we have the altitudes why can't we get this triangle ABC divided into three triangles. So we have triangle A P B then we have triangle B P C then we have triangle A P C we have three triangles A B C is divided into three triangles now we can easily find out the area of this three triangles so our logic is to equate the area of the triangle which we know already as root 3 by 4 into side square to the sum of this triangle so I'll write down here area of ABC is equal to area of APB plus area of BPC plus area of APC We know area of equilateral triangle if side is x is root 3 by 4 into x square equals to half into area of APB is half into x into h1 BPC will be half into x into h2 plus APC will be half into x into h3. Now Let's try to simplify this. We'll write down root 3 by 4 into x square equals to half into x we can take out. We have h1 plus h2 plus h3 left out. Let us simplify that. x will cancel one time and 2 will go two times. We are left out with h1 plus h2 plus h3 equals to root 3 by 2 into x that is what we need to prove. Now if you are not clear how the altitude of an equilateral triangle is root 3 by 2 into x let me explain you that. Let us take the same triangle I will take a smaller triangle since we have less space. Let us say this is our equilateral triangle of side x x and x. If you drop a perpendicular then by congruency we can prove that this is divided into two equal parts. Now this is the height 
apply the pythagoras theorem you will have h square equals to x square minus x square by 4 which is equals to 3 x square by 4 that will give you h equals to root 3 x divided by 2 that means the altitude of an equilateral triangle is given by root 3 x by 2 and we have proven that sum of the distances from P to AB, BC, AC, sum of that is equals to root 3x by 2. So, that's how we have proven that the sum of distances from any point inside an equilateral triangle to its sides is equals to altitude of the triangle. Let's have a recap of this problem. Now, we have been given a triangle ABC and were told that there is a point inside the triangle P. We have to prove that the distance from P to AB distance from P to BC and from P to AC sum of these distances is equal to the altitude of the triangle. Now what we have done we know that the distance between a point and a line is always the perpendicular distance so we have dropped the perpendiculars to the corresponding sides. Now we divided ABC into three triangles since we know the altitudes we also know the side so half into base into height we can easily find out the area of triangle APB, BPC, APC but now these three will add up to area of ABC which we already know that root 3 by 4 into x square. Now simplifying that we are able to prove that sum of the distances from P to AB, BC and AC is equal to altitude of the triangle which is root 3 x by 